Good morning, everybody. The Ryan Neese Foundation is recruiting its next group of students for its Power of Giving Student Service program. It's tailor-made for high school sophomores and includes monthly meetings and service projects well into their senior year. The deadline to apply for the next program is Friday, March the 29th. Here with more, we want to welcome the CEO of the foundation, Shelly Sharp, and also a participating student who's a valedictorian at Largo High School, Mr. Connor Mann. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for Thank having us. Thank you for having us, Lizette. Tell us about this important deadline. Well, we are now accepting applications from high school students who are sophomores mm -hmm. in Hillsborough and Pinellas counties, public school, private school, charter schools, home schools. <laughs> we love them all. And the deadline is Friday, March 29th. What is the number one thing that you want students to know? Um, if they are interested in community service and volunteering, that this is a program that they should consider and to go to our website uh -huh. and learn more and to apply. And we will have that website information on screen to make it really easy. Uh, Connor, congratulations. You're Thank gonna you. graduate as valedictorian. Yeah, I appreciate um, it. How have you enjoyed this experience? It's a two year journey. What was your favorite part, you'd say? I think what was really great about it is it provided almost like an intersection of allowing me to pursue my own interests and exposing me to things that I otherwise wouldn't have been exposed to, one of those being Tampa Bay Watch, which is an environmental nonprofit in the Tampa Bay area. Uh -huh. And we did one project where we were planting seagrass around Apollo Beach area yeah. to help prevent erosion. And that was really cool because I didn't realize how easy it was to get involved with environmental projects around the area. Wow, you all have monthly meetings yeah. and then you have a student service program. How did those monthly meetings help you maybe get ready for college now? I think it was, it was really great to get in touch with a lot of other high school students that share my interest in, in service and that was probably the biggest thing and it helped me realize that in college I definitely want to find a similar group to pursue that passion. Do you find that it helped you with you know speaking and public speaking or or being in a room full of strangers and you know feeling comfortable? Absolutely I think that was one of the most important things that I think my communication skills really developed through the program but I also think my listening skills developed quite a bit <laughs> because particularly with service I think that listening to the people that are having a problem is incredibly important because if not you you can risk solving a problem that doesn't exist or not solving the problem at all. Wow. See, Shelly, you must be like, oh, he said that. <laughs> you did not pay him to say that. That yeah. is a, a direct result of being in the program. Congratulations to you. Best wishes Thank you so to much. you on your graduation. If you would like to learn more about the Ryan Neese Foundation and specifically about the student service program and the deadline, you can visit them online at ryanneesefoundation.org.